Hello, my name is Martin Luring, video game pianist, and welcome to the Sight Reading Saturday stream. As you see here, there's some sheet music here, our video game music. And today I'll play video game music and I'll also take super chat requests for me to sight read video game music. So there's some rules here. Uh, first of all, please respect the moderators. Please observe the chat rules as posted in the video description below. Also for sheet music sight reading requests, please do not link or send me sheet music that is a reproduction of published sheet music. But if it's uh, something that you've arranged or somebody else has arranged, let me know that that would be that would work and uh, try to uh, tell me the name of the arranger so I can give credit to the arranger as well. So I'll begin with the Super Mario Brothers main theme. Super Mario Brothers main theme. All right, so let me check out the comments here on my phone. Hello everyone, so thank you for joining the stream. Good to see some familiar faces, some familiar usernames, and welcome to the people who are just joining the stream. One, some people I don't recognize. Well, thank you. All right, so now I'll play, I'll side read music from this book here, Super Mario series for piano for intermediate advanced, the intermediate advanced edition here. So this is Super Mario Brothers 3 Skyship background music. And I'll also, whoops, the camera fell off, so just a second. Sorry about that. My makeshift uh, taping of this camera to the tripod didn't, it's another tape. No. Camera fell off. All right. That's never happened before in a stream. One of my streams. All right. Whoops. Let me just. Be... And 
can go about like that. All right. There we go. All right, we're back. All right, that didn't take long, did it? So we'll play, I'll play the Super Mario Brothers 3 Skyship background music. And this was composed by Koji Kondo. And the piano arrangement was by Shinobu Amayake. And I'll embellish this a little bit. I'll, for some notes that are single notes, I'll add octave notes and so forth. I might add extra notes. the skyship background music from Super Mario Brothers 3. Now, that was just me sight reading it. Now, I'll play the title theme from Super Mario World. This was also composed by Koji Kondo and this piano arrangement was by Shinobu Amayake. And what's interesting here is that this, uh, this, this was supervised by Nintendo. This, sheet music was supervised. So we have dynamic markings, we have articulation markings, we have tempo markings. So this is really, uh, it's actually, these markings are very valuable because this is coming from Nintendo. Uh, this is not an interpretation per se, but it's actually Nintendo saying this should be a crescendo here, this dynamic should be here, this part should have a higher dynamic than this other part. And it's interesting because in this music is 16-bit music and 8-bit music there were no dynamic shadings in the music we all heard the music in one level like the notes in super mario brothers main theme is all in one level there's no dynamic changes in the super mario world title theme when you listen to the original music there are no dynamic changes within it. it's all one level but now nintendo's saying no you have to play this mezzo forte and then this chord here has to be forte so they're implying a hierarchy and musical harmony and, and ideas, which is fascinating. So from a theoretical um, and analytical standpoint, this is a trove of treasure here to see what uh, the composers had in mind when they published this music. Now, I don't know for sure if Koji Kondo had this in mind when he wanted to write this, have this chord forte in the beginning part of mezzo forte. I don't know if he wanted to do that when he actually composed the music because due to the limitations of the hardware, that was not possible. So uh, perhaps Goji Kondo did have uh, this in mind, uh, but simply the hardware could not express what Koji Kondo wanted to do at the time. That's one possibility. Another possibility is that uh, Koji Kondo's adding, or the arranger's adding these dynamic markings after the fact, after the piece was composed, and this is a sort of interpretation to or uh, to enhance the liveliness of the music. So there are several possibilities and it's all fascinating because, um, because it's, uh, it shows that, first of all, Nintendo doesn't think that uh, this music should be played with one dynamic level on the piano. Of course, uh, uh, the piano is much more capable than and playing at one dynamic level. But here it shows all these different crescendo markings. The left hand here is staccato, the right hand does not have these staccato markings. So this is all very fascinating information. And as a classical musician, all these bits of information is important to form the whole entire interpretation because uh, as a classical musician, it's not just important to play the notes on the page, but to understand what's behind the notes. In other words, the style, the emotion, and so forth. So this gives an incredible amount of insight 
that um, anybody who would just transcribe the music from hearing the Super Mario title theme, they would not uh, be able to infer because there would be no such information in uh, contained in that audio. So uh, this is, uh, I'll sight read this music now, the Super Mario World title theme. Ah, brown coats, you do have a beginner version of this book, I see. Uh-huh, and some people are also saying we have the same book, like Luke, uh-huh. Okay, so here we go. Super Mario World title theme and thank you Jace so that's great um, you enjoyed watching my videos and I hope you enjoy uh, the future videos as well I've not played on an 8-bit synthesizer all right now this is a Super Mario World castle background music and this arrangement is um, very, uh, the, the right hand arpeggios are different than how I play it. Uh, this, they have it the way it's in the game. They, instead of the way I played it, it's a go. But instead here, they have these notes out of six notes to one beat and it goes like this. So forth. So I'll try reading this now. Hello, Eduardo. <laughs> Yesterday's guest, the theme champion. Hello, Black No 2. All right, so here's Super Mario World Castle background music.
it is an intense song. All right, Super Cloud, if you want to make a request, you to make a super chat of at least five US dollars. Let me adjust the camera again. All right. The main theme from Super Mario 64. All right. Well, we'll get you that. So to that, you do make a super chat. Because these, these books, um, I haven't, I, I got this book many years ago, but I haven't really learned the pieces. I just looked through them. I use them more like reference books, like you know how um, some people publish editions of Beethoven piano sonatas? Well, so those editions, they're not meant to be learned from. You, they're there to reference for it because after you learn it from the urtext or the unedited edition, you can look at somebody else's edition and see what they were thinking, what they're trying to see what Beethoven is expressing. So this is kind of what I do for this music because I already know how this piece goes, but when I see, oh, he writes the cotton marks here, he means this. He writes the dynamic marks here, mezzo forte, and then the beginning part is forte. Oh, that's what he meant. And he writes rubato. Okay, so I didn't have to transcribe this uh, triplet as some sort of 16 note with the ritardando or something. Uh, this is the, the Dolpic Town, which I'll play right now. So this is from Super Mario Sunshine. So, so I am uh, sight reading music from this book. Today's uh, theme is a sight reading Saturday. So basically every day of the week or whatever day I stream, there's some sort of theme that goes with it. Like Mar Monday is Mario Mondays. Uh, Thursday is like throwback Thursday. Like how people post throwback Thursday pictures on Thursdays or all this like throwback Thursday for video game music. So we play music that's nostalgic, so to speak. And Friday is Final Fantasy Friday. Wednesday is Wacky Wednesday, where I combine, or I might play like a Zelda piece, but add Super Mario sound effects in it. Or I might play a Super Mario piece and add Zelda or Sonic the Hedgehog sound effects in it. Yes, I've met Koji Kondo twice, once in San Francisco, one in Tokyo, and I played for him both in San Francisco and uh, in Tokyo. 
So I played the Super Mario World athletic theme and he applauded after I played. <laughs> and yes, I also met uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. So yes, I do have connections. Uh, I mean, I've, I've met a lot of video game composers so, and people in the video game industry. And so, yes, uh, so I do have, know some people. All right, Zoran, well, it needs to be a super chat. I'm sorry, it has to apply to everybody. This, the rule has to apply to everybody. I am not from Japan. I, I, was, I grew up in Southern California. Hello, Dakota. All right, so now let's go on to the next piece to sight read. This is Mario Kart 64 Circuit, composed by Kenta Nagata, and the piano arrangement is by Shinobu Amayake. I think all of these arrangements are by Shinobu, Shinobu Amayake in this book, if I'm not mistaken. The book is Super Mario Series for Piano, uh, Intermediate Advanced Edition. I uh, was Mario Kart 64 Circuit. I don't know Red's theme Super Cloud Strike, but if you'd like me to play it, I uh, could sight read it. And also, for those of you, there's uh, music on Muse Score and nintensheetmusic.com. So go to nintensheetmusic.com, check out some of the sheet music there, and if you like something that you'd like me to play, make a super chat of at least 10 US dollars and send me the link or email me the link and I'll site read it. So again, the sites are nintensheetmusic.com and also Muse Scores. So those, those sites have a treasure of trove of video game arrangements. Thank you, Eduardo. It's a uh, .org site. Hello, Moore. All right, so now let's play something that's not so well known. In fact, this music is, is I don't know it, so uh, I don't think it's one of the main stream Mario pieces. So let's have a unofficial guess the theme right now. So 
whoever can identify this piece first will get one unofficial point. Hello and when? Yes, the Mega Mushroom, or otherwise known as the giant background music from what game? From the new Super Mario Brothers game. So congratulations, Dakota Kempf. You get one unofficial guess a theme point. I did not see the Tonight Show where Miyamoto plays a Super Mario theme with Jimmy's band. That's correct, Eduardo. Yes, I did not know this. That was the first time. I haven't even heard that piece before. I might have heard this piece, but uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I played New Super Mario Brothers on the DS. But yeah, I don't think I didn't recognize the theme. All right, so now I'll start reading another piece. And now. This will be another unofficial guess of theme. Let's see if you can guess this theme now. So, Hakim, so to make a request, you had to make a super chat. Uh, read the video description below about how to explain super chats. So, looks like Black Note 2 gets it, but he misspelled team as theme. If it was Italian, theme would be spelled T-E-M-A if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's not an official guess theme a game, so uh, the points here are unofficially earned. So this is the new Super Mario Brothers title theme. And Luke gets the point. All right, here's another piece I don't know. Here's, let's see who can be the first one to guess this piece. Thank you. 
right? Is the answer is new Super Mario Brothers Battle Background Music One. So it seems Eduardo gets the point. <laughs> Congratulations, Eduardo. So the multiplayer is, is meaning the background when two players are battle each other. So I, I don't think I've played this level or map, so I assume that's what it means. Is that right, Eduardo? Uh, Sarah Brunel, so if you want to make a request, you're to make a super chat of at least $10 because I do not know Lincoln Park. And, um, well, I might have heard it, but I don't know it uh, off the top of my head. All right, so now I'll play another piece. This was composed by Mihito Yokota and the piano arrangement was by Shinobu Amayake. So let's see if anybody can identify this one. I'm a, yes, I am a video game composer. I've composed music for a game called Do Like Spike. And it's a game for the smartphone where it's a memory game. And I composed the main menu theme and the level theme. All right, so um, so, uh, well, anybody, anyways, just the uh, guess the theme isn't part of anything official.
All right, so it is Super Mario Galaxy ending staff credit roll. And Dakota Kempf, congratulations, you, get, you win this round, unofficial round of Guess the Theme. So Sarah, to do Super Chat, you have to click on the dollar sign next to where you type in the chat. So next to the, where you type in the chat, there should be a button there, you click on the, the money sign, and then that's how you make a Super Chat. If you can't make a super chat there, then perhaps you can make a donation through PayPal and let me know that you donated through PayPal immediately so I can confirm the donation and then uh, fulfill your request. <laughs> yes, I can sight clap. All right, so now here's the next guess the theme and all, all the pieces I've played so far, I've sight read. Yes, so uh, applies to everybody to make, a, to make a request, you have to make a donate, a super chat of at least $5. So this, um, yeah, the, for the pieces I don't know, it's $10, but these prices are good because other streamers, they charge like $50 or $20 for pieces that they don't know, but my rates are much cheaper. All right, so here's the next piece. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island Athletic Theme. All right, so that's enough of uh, the Super Mario series for piano. Now let's go into the next book. There are more pieces here I have inside read, but let's go into another book now. So this is Super Mario Jazz Piano Arrangements, 15 Intermediate Advanced Solo Piano Solos. So what is here is that um, somebody made a piano arrangement in jazz style. This is the arrangements were done by Sakiko Masuda with uh, music supervision by Nintendo. So these are well known uh, Nintendo Mario themes, but they're in a jazz style. So for instance, the main theme, it goes like this.
there's a lot of jazzy harmonies in it. Uh, Jonathan, this book was published before Superstar was released. So here's the jazz version of the underground theme. So I'll play the underground theme how it is usually in the game. <laughs> Here's the underground theme. in the chat for so now here's the underwater theme in jazz style To another book with switch gears and let's play music from Ghibli Studio so how many of you are fans of anime so now let's we've taken the stream to a whole new level now now we're in the anime world so now I'll play music from this book and you have to tell me what it is you have to identify it most of these pieces are by Joe Hisashi. Hello, Frederick Chopin. All right, I have the answer key there. Okay, so now, let's see if we can identify this piece now. You have Jumpman, you have met Joe Hisashi. Cool, how was that like? I see jump man, I see you sing. All right, so now let's continue with, I'll play this piece to see if you can identify this.
right, so can anybody, did anybody identify this theme? This theme is called Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Medley slash bird person, Tori non Hito. And also Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. <laughs> All right, so that's the long name that's listed here. So that's by Joe Hisashi. So I think that's uh, English translation of what it is in the Japanese title here. So what happens is that they repeat a lot of these, the titles. In the English translation. All right, so now let's go into the next piece. This is also another music from anime from Ghibli Studios. Um, yes, I can save you some classical music, but it depends on the difficulty level.
So the correct answer is Laputa Castle in the Sky. And also this medley slash innocence in parentheses Sora Kira Futakita Shoujo. And it's this Luputa colon castle in the sky carrying you. So let's see who got answer correct. It is not spirited away. Yes, this is called carrying you. Congratulations, jump in FR. And cool story, Jumpman. How you got to meet Joe Hisashi as conductor. You're welcome, Mitchell. All right, let's go into the next piece. Let me preempt the page turns. Ah, oh, merci beaucoup. Okay, let's see if anybody can uh, identify this theme now. visiting Perry. Jump in. Yes, it is from my neighbor Totoro. And it's, it's called Hey, Let's Go. Sanpo, my neighbor Totoro. All right, let's go on to the next piece.
preempting the page turns again.
And let's see who identified this. The correct answer is my neighbor Totoro, Path of the Wind, uh, in parentheses, Kaze no Torimishi, also known as Suit Spirits or Susuwatari. Yes, that is right. Tuxi is Kaze no Torumishi. Yes. Bye bye, Ere Piv. Okay, let's go on to the next piece. Fell sight read.
the book doesn't want me to <laughs> read the music in the middle of the book. So, did anybody recognize this piece? Yes, Bearded Away. Uh, one summer, one summer's day. And it's, yeah, it's, it's several pieces, uh, like Always With Me and Reprise. So it's a medley. So these pieces are uh, arranged arrange in a medley. So it's several pieces in one uh, piece. Uh, merci beaucoup, Jumpman. Uh, Vincent's Animations, I hope to be streaming. Uh, it depends. Uh, yeah, I think I should be able to stream tomorrow. All right, so that's anime music. So now let's go to Final Fantasy music. So this is Final Fantasy X. All right, so this is all in Japanese. So, uh... This piece, this piece from Final Fantasy is pen, 10, but I don't know the title. We'll, we'll see what Sunday's theme is, Eduardo. Hi, Bat Hat. Long time no see. So, is there enough light in the room? Do you see? Let's see if I can open, get more light here. Hopefully that's better. All right, so let's see if anybody can identify this theme. Thank you. 
All right, so that piece was uh, Anybody identify what it is? Yes, it is a Final Fantasy song. So let me look up the the title. Is the um, one, two, three, four. It's a fifth piece in the book. So it is the travel agency theme. It's called Travel Agency. Here's another Final Fantasy X piece.
And let's see what piece this is. This is one, two, three. Uh, the fourth piece from the end. And it is Yuna's decision as JG wrote. So, yes, congratulations, JG. You get one point. <laughs> Ipanema. So, that's for sight reading. So, so what are some of your favorite video game pieces? Final Fantasy Victor theme. Rosalina's Comet Observatory. Hello, Mamosin. Pinup Park from Mario Sunshine. Professor Waits in three time travel. I don't know that. A small introductory melody, sure. So if, if you're joining the stream, you get a, a melody for uh, entry, uh, for, for being a new person on the stream. So here's the new melody. As for a follow, that would be equivalent to a subscription here. So thank you for those who subscribed here. Sorry for me to read the, the names on my phone here. So, let's see if we can read it here. Thank you. By Yatu Bun for subscribing, also MPG410 for subscribing, and Maggie Man Boss for subscribing. Thank you. Here's the victory theme. <laughs> Who can identify this piece? Correct, 
easy piano, piano. <laughs> it's donated by Schubert. <laughs> and yes, Don Chen, correct Eduardo with the correct, uh, the, the A with the, the dots. So it's called Uma, right? All right. So what piece is this? You learned the piece today, Eduardo. How coincidental. You learned it on the piano? All right. All right, who can identify this piece? It is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Easy piano. All right, who can identify this theme? that theme correct it is the Beethoven spring sonata for violin and piano congratulations easy piano wow you're three out of three So let's go back to video game music now. Who can guess what the song this is? Brothers 3 Toad's House. Peace which Mario 3 does it count? I think Toad House is the, the correct answer. It's one more Toad's O Hoose. Switching the O and H around would have granted you the points. Bat bat toast's house. Mm, I'm hungry now. What about wanna get some toast to eat? SMB3 Toad's House. Correct easy piano. Alright, easy piano gets a point. Oh, it's a P switch too. Okay. Thank you. All right, so Mamosin, you get the point. <laughs> so all these people with different accounts, like Schneefka, Easy Piano, Frederick Chopin, I've lost track of who's at who's who. <laughs> Schneefka from Piano Chess, right? Vince's Animations. I didn't see, did I see your name? And why would you be scared? 
All right, Vince's animations, whatever. All right, so now let's go on to the next. Let's play Guess the Theme. So the winner of Guess the Theme will get one. Whoever wins Guess the Theme, you get to make a request for me to play. And the request has to be something that I know. Okay, so everybody starts with zero points. Yes, it is starting now. Let me get up my paper. Yes, officially now. So here's the introductory music to guess the theme. So don't give up, yo yo rocks. Here's the first theme. And I won't necessarily start at the beginning of the piece too, because I would give uh, too much of a clue. All right, so here's the first theme. gets the points. Here's the next round. Alright, so this was a little tricky one, and if you have perfect pitch, it also helps, because the answer is Super Mario Brothers, The Lost Levels, the one where the ending theme modulates to F major. So I played the one I started in the middle when it was in F major, but not when it was in C major. So the one in C major goes like this. Uh, see, it starts out in C major. Super Mario Brothers 1, it repeats starting there, it goes back. But if you play the Lost Levels, it modulates to F major. 
And my battery power is up to down to 5%, so I have to recharge my phone. I need to plug it into a charger real quickly. Let's see, will this work? No, I need to get, I need to get my cell phone charger, so I'll be right back. All right, so as I was saying before, I got my charger, that theme I played modulated to F major. In other words, the key change from C major to F major. All right, so let's see what answer showed up first. Eduardo doesn't always win guess the theme. He's really good at the at this game. Alright, so let's see. Super Mario Brothers, The Lost Levels, anything by Eduardo, 252 PM. Yo Yo Box, 252 PM, Super Mario Brothers, Lost Levels, anything. That's right before Eduardo wrote it. And then people saying you need the you write right the in it. Yes, I know songs from older FF games, Jumpman. All right, so we don't need, yeah, um, I guess, uh, Oh, easy piano, you said you correctly and then my toad sauce be the right theme at the end. I thought I'd, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't, the chat doesn't scroll all the way back up, so I can't tell exactly what happened. The theme, did somebody write theme at the end? Let's see. Super Mario ending theme. Yeah, everyone wrote Super Mario World ending theme. That's correct. And then Easy Piano wrote Super Mario World ending. That was three people after Eduardo W. All right, so let's go to the, the this latest one. So, all right, that's that. So, all right, you don't need the and for the lost levels. All right, Yo-Yo Rocks, you get the point for round two. Okay, here's the next theme. Here it goes.
<laughs> JG, yes, you don't need to write, type the whole name. You use abbreviations. All right. So the point, the correct answer is Super Mario 64 staff roll. We're ending. And the point goes to Yo-Yo Rocks 2 again. Oh, easy piano. Yeah, and the rules could add uh, that the yeah the this, the the does not need to be added in the title. Oh, uh, that was the ice cream truck going by his form. Went. Ending, so yeah, credits ending will work for the staff roll ending. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the next round. Super Mario Brothers theme overworld all right so S NSMB uh, athletic theme I'm not sure <laughs> if that's correct I don't know it as athletic theme let me look it up Yes, it is correct. All right, so Zorm, you get one point. You win this round's guess the theme, Zorm. <laughs> A lot of people has the second melody going on. Let me see. Sounds right so far. Right, this is different, I think. This is, doesn't have the da dum ba dum ba dum ba da da da. So this is the overworld theme now.
So this overall theme. Thank you for the super chat, Mama Scene. So what is your request? So here's the part. See, this is the part. All right, so Zorm, your answer is very close to what I played, but it is not the athletic theme. It is the overworld theme, and the first person to correctly identify that as the overworld theme is... Eduardo W's! Eduardo W gets the points. And Zoram, I'll leave your name on, but on the scoreboard, but you won't have any points. All right, so Mamasen, let me know what is your. Uh, let me know what your your request is. So the Hasashi and the previous uh, Gasa theme, that, were, that was unofficial Gasa themes. All right, so the scoreboard is Eduardo W, two points. yo Rocks, two points. Zorm, no points yet. All right, here it is, the next round. Answer is Sonic 3 Ice Cap Zone. And the first person to identify both the title and the name of the piece correctly is Black Note 2. Congratulations, Black Note 2. You're now on the scoreboard with one point. Sure, Castlevania 3 Prelude. All right, so we have to interrupt the guest of theme because now we have a super chat. And it is Castlevania 3 Prelude. And let me load up the piece because I, I remember making a YouTube video for this. And then I did, I recorded for like two hours and I went to the gym. I remember this and my gym teacher's like, oh, you have to pay attention what's going on in the class. I was like, yeah, I know. Um, so I was, I, the music in my head is stuck in my head because I was um, playing it. Uh, uh, this C minor arpeggios. A block note two got the point, Eduardo. All right, here's Castlevania Three Prelude, otherwise known as Introduction. Mm 
And that's supposed to sound like Schubert. Now it's supposed to sound more happy. Like reminiscing about old times. It's funny how that chord, that harmony doesn't resolve. It hangs in the air. It goes. Da -da -da -da. By the way, what theme is this? Because that was a similar harmonic progression. So that's this unofficial round of guess the theme. What theme is this? So here's Castlevania 3 Prelude. Super chat, Mama Scene. That was Castlevania 3 Prelude. My pleasure, Mama Scene. So, for the uh, previous uh, jingle I had, this, this jingle. So, did anybody watch TV in the 1990s or so? Because if you did, you have a greater chance of identifying this piece. Hi, 
I see easy piano. Yes, it is part of a commercial and it's part of the State Farm commercial. Go State Farm is there or State Farm is here or something like that. Go th Or perhaps easy piano if you're a child prodigy, you remember what you listened to when you were one years old or something, and then you recall it, perhaps. But I don't know many people who memorize who remember I have memories when they're one year old. That's Mama Scene, you do recognize it. Alright, cool. At least somebody recognizes it. Okay, so now let's go back to guess the theme. Here's the next, here's the next title theme. And this one, you don't have to correctly uh, spell the title correctly just for this one. If I can understand what you mean, then it works because there's several different ways to spell this piece and <laughs> it, just, it may cause too much confusion and uh, for about who is correct and who gets the point. So as long as I understand what you're saying, then you'll get the point. But you have to be have less than five misspellings. So you can't just like type, like miss half of the letters and expect me to understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Mushrooms from Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So, Forest Maze Super Mario RPG. All right, that counts. So, as one, you get one point. And Eduardo W was just right after Zorm. And JG, wow, I have to commend you for writing out the entire theme so quickly like that. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. is Super Mario Brothers 3 Hammer Brothers Battle and the point goes to Eduardo W. <laughs> Eduardo now surges to the lead with three points. Yes, uh, Dr. Mario goes like this. <laughs> Let's go on to the next, the, <laughs> the next, that's the theme. Yes, the clap there. This competitive jump, man. All right, so. Here's the next, guess the theme. So what game does that music occur in? 
I'll play it again. Correct. It is Donkey Kong. Congratulations, Jumpman. You get one point. Yes, for the question is what game does the music occur in? So Eine Kleine Nacht for music is composed by Mozart. And it's actually in G major. But I think in Donkey Kong it's in D major and not G major. <laughs> it's not Donkey Kong, it's Mario Bros. <laughs> but it's C major. Wow, Eduardo, you really know the theme. <laughs> All right, let's check that. Mario Brothers music title theme. Yes, it is in C major and it's from the Mario Brothers music. Wow, good call, Eduardo. <laughs> Alright, so Dakota Kemp gets it correctly because Dakota Kemp wrote Mario Bros. just before Eduardo W. did. But does punctuation count? Yes, punctuation does count, right? So Mario Bros. with that period and Eduardo gets the point. Alright, Dakota, I'll give you one point. Since you were really close, you just left out the one dot. Don't give up easy piano. No, you're not a cursed jump man. All right, now Eduardo is that game point. So now the, uh, the guess the theme has gotten uh, more difficult now. So here's the level up theme for the guess the theme. <laughs> All right, so now each round now is worth two points. If you win, you get to request a piece for me to play. That's on my repertoire list. That's the piece that I know. <laughs> oh, that's really kind of you, Eduardo. All right, so you give him the point up for Dakota Camp. All right. All right, then. So Eduardo is not at game point yet, so the extra level of guess the theme hasn't been activated yet. So I'll have to reverse that. So to play that piece backwards now. <laughs> So here's the next round of Guess the Theme. Correct answer is Super Mario Brothers 2 ending theme. <laughs> I guess 
since there are several Super Mario Brothers 2 games, the Japan version and the US version, you have to specify what version it is. Because the J Japanese ending theme as the, the one I played earlier this one. So that's a completely different ending theme. So Zorm gets the points and hello Joven Patrick. All right, so here's the next guess the theme. from New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Stamina up soda, I got Charles Martinet's signature in my shirt. All right, so New Super Mario Brothers U title theme. Uh, I'm not sure if that's correct, let me check it. No, it's not. It's one. No. So the point goes to Eduardo W. NSMB Wii title theme. And now Eduardo is at game point. So now each round is worth two points. <laughs> Okay, so now this level, this round is worth two points now. So, let's see who can identify this piece. think what to play. All right, here it goes. <laughs> So is Mario Kart Double Dash. Luigi Circuit. So let me check that one just in case.
All right, it is Luigi Circuit. Luigi Circuit. So congratulations, Eduardo W. You win guest theme again. <laughs> Yes, abbreviations are loud. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Eduardo W. <laughs> All right, so Eduardo, what is your request? I'll take a break, get some water while you type your request in. Alright, so welcome back. So now I'll play Animal Crossing Wild World, the theme and variations. So I'll improvise variations on the theme.
Hopefully this won't fall over when I play.
All right, so that was Animal Crossing Wild World theme with variations as requested by Eduardo W, who wanted today's guest the theme. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, JG. All right. So now I'll play piano chess. So now uh, who can who wants to play me in chess? Because I am a nationally ranked uh, chess player. I'm in the top three percent of chess players, ranked chess players in the U.S. There are about sixty-five thousand members of the United States Chess Federation. So I'm in the top three percentile. So I'll play piano chess so i'll take any challenges uh sign up to leechess.org check out the piano chess uh description in my video description then you can play me online here and i'll broadcast the game and i'll play piano at the same time so it's a multitasking challenge for me and also the piano music is supposed to create the atmosphere for the chess game as well so it's free, you, you, you can sign up for free, and you can play me for free, of course. So, yes, you can play on Android. You just have to, you can download the Lee Chess app for free. So for those who, of you who already have an account, you can challenge me, you can send me a challenge. I'm taking challenges right now. And we already have the first challenge here. Funny animator Jim, I see uh, you you sent me a, uh, you followed me a few days ago, and I see you are uh, a frequent player on Lee Chess. So uh, unlike other people who join, you start off with a fifteen hundred rating. So rating points are earned when you win when you beat somebody, and you lose rating points when you lose a game. And depending on the strength of your opponent, you win more points if you win, and you lose more points if you lose, depending on the strength of the opponent. So, uh, funny animator Jim, uh, the time control has to be three minutes and eight seconds per move increment. So it can't be an infinite time control and it has to be a rated game too. So I'll have to decline this challenge. So ch send me another challenge. My username Luke is video game pianist, all one word. So let me set up the uh, chat broadcasting here. And after this, I have to go. Uh, I have to go after after a few games. But for now, all right. So there's a board up here, and I'll play the game here. Thank you, Eduardo, for the link. Okay, so I'm taking challenges right now, and I'll begin with the Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario 64 Dire Dire Docks theme.
All right, so it seems um, so if anybody wants to take challenges, I'm here to take challenges starting now. Okay, so if there are no challenges, then that's it. Then I'll on the stream now. Oh, we have one challenge by Tuxie. Okay, here we go. Good luck, Tuxie. Discovered check and mate. So 
if you had moved bishop e7 or something, that would have protected your king from the my rook's check. All right, so now we have two uh, challenges. The next one is by Dakota, X04. Here we go. <laughs> This one we have to abort the game because you have to have the time control. You didn't read the directions. You didn't follow the directions. It has to be uh, the time control has to be rated and it has to be three minutes with eight second increments. So now let's take random shy guys challenge. So good luck, random shy guy. challenge is by Dakota X04. Thank you. 
Dame Dakota. All right, next challenge is by Luke2282. Next challenge, Funny Animator Jim TV asks to be the time control three minutes and eight seconds increment, not three minutes and six seconds increment. So I have to decline that. All Nintendo games, it's a broad spectrum uh, to include. I haven't played all Nintendo games, so I can't say that 
but like all the Nintendo games. All right, so. All right, so now I'll play Super Mario Brothers underwater theme.
No, because he has queen f6. chat after this game. Thanks, Aaron. champ battle uh if i don't know that then the super chat has to be at least 10 us dollars for that so five euros is not exactly uh 10 uh, us dollars In the gym leader battle one, I mean. <laughs> Alright, that one. Okay, let me listen to it one time just to get in my ear and then I'll play it. Uh, chess Gym TV. I've been playing chess since I was five years old, but I recently started playing in tournaments again after not playing for nine years or so. So the highest rated player beaten in the tournament is International Masters, rated around 2300.
Playing chess for only one year and drawing against a 2,000 player is pretty good. Mm, yeah, sometimes one move can be a mistake. Knight of five, yes, I could play g4 and kick it away, yes. The problem there is you need to have played uh, h5 or something to anchor that knight on f5. Or something like that. The piano I have is a, a Kawaii Grand Piano. Okay, so here's the Pokemon Red and Blue Gym Leader Battle Music. <laughs> Super Chats, Aaron. And that concludes today's stream. And thank you everyone for joining and um, hope to see you tomorrow, hope to stream tomorrow. So, all right, so thanks everyone for joining. Hope you had a fun time, just as much fun as I did. So have a great day everyone and see you next time. Bye-bye.